and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you uh, not only how to uh, clean your mass airflow sensor and uh, throttle body but also how to replace your uh, four uh, breather hoses. Um, there is a kit that fcpeuro.com sells um, uh, that comes with these hoses and all the connectors you need. Um, these hoses are clearly marked with uh, circles, uh, well three of them are with circles, uh, triangles and squares and uh, so is the connector so it's really easy to piece them together. Only one, the fattest hole, uh, doesn't have those markings. Um, um, they become brittle over time being so close to the heat of the engine uh, and they may develop cracks and therefore uh, uh, you know the engine light may come on with the P0171 all the way to 75 um, and the rest of them but um, you have to take the intake air hoses out first and then uh, the two top engine covers uh, to do this job you need um, a screwdriver, a uh, hose plier, a uh, needle nose plier, some shop towels, silicone sprayer, uh, as well as uh, a math uh, cleaner. And uh, so this uh, math bracket, uh, you undo it with uh, a straight head uh, screwdriver and there's that metallic clip in the back that's holding it. Um, undo the electric connector and put it on the side and then um, remove the bracket. Uh, the hose on the passenger side kind of uh, there's a placeholder for it so you have to kind of uh, uh, move the bracket down a little um, so uh, the hose doesn't block its removal and then um, and then take it out. Uh, so you just um, press the clip, the metallic clip, back towards the firewall and just lift the math assembly out. And then uh, this next piece is what connects the math to the throttle body. And uh, there is a tab in the passenger side that you have to press down and once you press it down you'll hear a clip and that clip indicates that it's now undone and it's held uh, in two places the, the clip in the bottom and then uh, uh, sort of uh, another another tab on top but I'll show you that in a second so once you press that and you hear that um, that sound uh, then you kind of lift it up uh, and actually there's a it, it's also there's a hose that the fatter or the fourth hose that I was mentioning before that doesn't have any of the triangles circle and uh, square uh, uh, pictures on the hoses the the fattest one is connected to this and and on the other end it connects to the uh, breather cover to the top of the breather cover on the driver's side. So it's very hard to see and to get a, a camera angle there, but uh, you remove that hose and then kind of negotiate its way out of there. Uh, so uh, the tab that you press is this, and it's held in by, by to this one and that in the bottom. And this is uh, this is um, uh, where the hose goes, the fourth of the breather hoses. So uh, this throttle body, uh, uh, the, the, the butterfly is quite dirty and you don't need to necessarily clean the plate itself, you just want to clean the edges and where the edges touch on the inside the bottom part uh, moves back and forth so you can press that lightly not hard and what I suggest and what I've done is uh, to take three four layers of shop towel and, uh, and a spray 
uh, some math cleaner, math sensor cleaner on it, and then uh, and then um, go at it, keep cleaning. Uh, I'm spending about five ten minutes doing that. Um, sorry, I cannot. Uh, Put a camera there, uh, too tight of a space to show you how I'm cleaning the inside. But um, but once you open it and you you, I suggest you look at it. Of course, I mean take a photo or a video to see how bad it is, and then uh, afterwards uh, do a thorough job of cleaning. Making sure that as you clean the debris. Uh, uh, you can you can uh, you know put a uh, vacuum cleaner hose there and suction out any debris so you don't want anything to fall into the engine. But um, like I said, just the, the edges of the butterfly and whatever the edges touch, that's what you need to clean. Now, if you want to clean the plate itself, the surface of the plate, that's fine too. I have done it here, but. Uh, I'm only showing you a couple minutes of the cleaning, but um, I'm spending about 10 minutes doing that. It's really not that hard. You could take the entire uh, throttle body out. There are a couple of uh, nuts there, but uh, you'll need a new ring in order to replace it. Um, the kit actually comes with a green gasket or ring if you wanted to remove the entire throttle body and do a much better job of cleaning. Um, but I didn't do that. Uh, now it does, uh, uh, you want to do this also, even if you don't get the codes that I mentioned, P017125 or any others. Uh, if if uh, you feel any hesitation when uh, the car is idling, then uh, it could mean uh, that your math sensor needs cleaning, that it is dirty, and you can extend the life of it by cleaning it periodically. Uh, now, if you have an OBD scanner nowadays, uh, if anyone wants the one that I, I have, I have the Mercedes-Benz, the, the, the Star Diagnosis System too, but, uh, but I also have one that I bought cheap from Amazon. Uh, uh, for 15 bucks, if anybody is interested, uh, write something in the comments, and I'll let you know what I've uh, purchased and used. Uh, this is this is a hard plastic hose that goes on top of that connector. You need to press that out, and then with a pry bar, uh, get the connector out. Press it upwards. But uh, with an OBD2 scanner, you can uh, and um, and. Uh, uh, the right software, you can see the life data and see how many grams per second is moving through the math. And uh, and so you want it to be close to, for these cars, the S500, uh, close to 5 grams per second. If yours is lower, then it needs uh, some cleaning. Uh, this is held by uh, some zip ties. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you need to remove this, but I did, thinking it might gave me more room to snake the hoses out and through but um, uh, after having done it I'm not sure if it needs to be uh, but it takes only a minute if, uh, if you want to you could cut the zip ties and uh, and then remove this clip and um, which allows you to the injector cover the the black injector cover right under my hand to to kind of move that up and uh, and um uh, and run the hoses um, underneath it. But um, anyway, so so you disconnect the the right side or the passenger side hose, and then the, the driver's side. Mine, you see, I have it zip tight there because it was cracked, and I was waiting for these hoses to come. Uh, you can buy these hoses individually, also from FCP Euro or Mercedes-Benz. Uh, but the kit comes complete with everything so why not replace all of them uh, chances are they are pretty bad after um, you know a hundred thousand miles or so and so uh, one side goes to the passenger uh, 
breather cover and the other side goes to the driver side breather cover and you see that on top of the breather cover that that thick hose that's the fourth hose without any markings uh, so here um, use some heavy duty silicone sprayer to generously generously spray all the connection points so that um, as you press them it would make uh, it would make the job of pressing them and connecting them uh, easier and all you have to do is really match the the connector has uh, a triangle and a and a circle and then you match uh, the same markings on the hoses and uh, and connect them accordingly but ultimately uh, as you remove the old one you can um, just compare the shape the final shape so this is the the part that is marked um, with a square so you match those markings and um, you have uh, reassembled or assembled the uh, new hoses now, uh, to clean the MAF uh, sensor, um, I'm spending about 10 minutes doing this, uh, showing you only a couple of minutes of it, but um, just uh, empty a third of a can, a half a can, uh, cleaning all of these pieces. Um, and you want to go on both sides. I had replaced uh, uh, prior to this video the, the fourth hose, the, the thicker of the um, uh, four hoses, and and um, I found a video clip from a, a past video I had made on YouTube, so I'm going to show you that, but I'm only replacing three of them here. You can clean the inside of these pipes um, thoroughly, um, the outside if you want to. And um, and then um, snake the longer hose through and connect it to the driver's side. Breather cover. These hoses are all necessary for uh, the emission system and for uh, crankcase ventilation. And once you do this, you don't have to do it again for uh, 100,000 miles or so. So press the connector itself um, in until it seats completely. And then the hard plastic hose goes on top of that. Press that in all the way, as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. 
and tighten that and then uh, if you did remove the zip ties you can go diagonally across there and uh, bunch them all up into one and uh, zip tie it but uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to run the zip tie through the same uh, places that the old zip tie was tied to So again, uh, with the limitations of uh, camera placement, um, I'm trying to show you as much as I can to make it uh, very easy for you. You see that hose there on the right kind of hanging, that's what goes into the, this assembly. That hose is moving right now. So you uh, place the, the handle on top there and then press it all the way in and then uh, wait to hear a click. Uh, press the bottom two towards the throttle body until you hear a clip. And of course you can then um, uh, jiggle it and shake it and make sure that it's uh, firmly seated. And then uh, connect that uh, fat hose or the thicker of the four hoses. Uh, using, uh, if you can do it with your hands, fine. Uh, there's very little room, but uh, hose pliers uh, press that all the way in until it is firmly seated. And that hose goes all the way, uh, you know, underneath all the other hoses. And the other end of it connects to the top of the breather cover on the uh, driver's side. And this is the clip I have from an old video. Uh, just to show you the other end of it, I'd done this job before. That's where the thicker hose goes to. And this gasket, as you can see, it's got multiple tabs, I think four or five tabs, that match the grooves where it goes. And so you want to seat that properly as well. Apply some um, heavy duty silicone here too to make the uh, insertion of the math assembly into it easier and also will make those gaskets last longer and not harden as fast but uh, Last but not least, uh, the math itself, uh, and uh, again, it 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 gets uh, you know the metallic clip in the back is what holds it in place. This bracket here, as you will see in a second, this is my old bracket, and and I'm glad I purchased a new one. Uh, and I suggest you do that too. It only costs about 15 bucks from the dealer and maybe five or six dollars online if you can wait for it. Um, as I was trying to press it in, it broke, and as you'll see, I'll have to take it out and uh, put the new one in. Yeah, uh, I didn't show the part where uh, it broke, but I have to take it back out. Don't forget to uh, reconnect the electric plug. Now to put this uh, back on, uh, it would help if you can uh, employ the assistance of somebody else just to hold the two handles on uh, 
right there to hold it together and you press and press until with with one hand to until that gap almost closes and then um, using a screwdriver or um, needle nose pliers the new one will not break if you're careful uh, still might but but just follow what I'm doing here you see I'm pressing one side forward and the other works the other side this way and so it just clicks in place and that's it you replace the top engine covers and your um, intake hoses and you're done uh, uh, with the hoses for the next 100,000 miles or so with the math um, you should clean it every 50,000 miles or so but anyways I hope you found this video of use and um, thank you very much talk to you soon bye bye